guys and welcome back to the next tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at the circle in a solid granny square. So we're going to start with making our circle. I do have a video on this which I will link up above and what you need to do is you just need to do the first three rounds of the circle and then we can make it into a square from there. So take your circle and your edging colour and attach your yarn in the usual way. I do have a video for this as well if you want to go check that out. What you need to do is you need to attach the yarn into the top of the stitch so not in between the gaps into the actual top of the stitch so underneath the V and do that a couple across from where you joined your circle. So I'm going to go in just here and grab my yarn and pull through and as you've seen before, I do like to tie my yarn just so that I know that it's secure and it's not going to come undone. I understand that this isn't the correct way to attach new colours, but it's the way that works for me. So you just do whichever way you choose. So we're going to yarn over and pull up a loop. And then we're going to chain four. So we're going to chain one, two, three, four. So this is going to act as our first double treble crochet. This will form the corner um, just here. So for a double treble we're going to yarn over once, yarn over again, insert back into that same hole, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. We're then going to work into the top of the next stitch, so underneath the V with a treble, so yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Into the next stitch we're going to do a half treble, so yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops on the hook. So into the next four stitches, we're going to do a double crochet. So just be careful here because it's where we joined the circle, so it might be quite difficult to see, but the top, if you work up the treble to the top of the stitch and see where it is. So insert your hook here, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. So ignore this hole here and work into the top of the next stitch. So this is the top of this stitch and then the top of this stitch is just here. So insert, pull through, pull through two. So that's two, into the next stitch, three and four. So we're now working back up. So we do the same stitches again in the opposite order. So a half treble, pull through all three. A treble, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and then two double trebles. So yarn over once, yarn over twice, insert, pull through, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two, and again, yarn over twice, insert, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. We're now going to form our corner, so chain two, and then we're going to do two more double trebles into that same stitch. So one, two, insert, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two, and again. Now we work our way back down. So we do a treble into the next stitch, a half treble into the next stitch, and then four doubles. So insert, pull through two, two, three, and four. Back up again. So a half treble, a treble, 
and then two double trebles. One, two, chain two for the corner, and then two more double trebles straight back into that same hole. So yarn over twice, insert, yarn over, pull through, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two, and one more. And then we work our way back down. So treble, half treble, four doubles, one, two, three, four, half treble, treble, two double trebles, one, two, chain two for the corner and two more double trebles back into that same Space. Treble, half treble, four doubles, one, two, three. Four, half treble, treble, and then we're back to the beginning. So don't forget that our corner spaces are always in the same stitch. So we're going to do two more double trebles into this stitch here. One. two, chain two for the corner and then join as normal. So don't forget that a double treble is four stitches high. So where we join in the third stitch from the bottom on a treble, in a double treble we're going into the fourth stitch from the bottom. So insert your hook into the top of that stitch, yarn over, pull through and pull through the loop on your hook for a slip stitch. So you can just finish here if you want to, but I do like to add a second row just because it does bow a bit in the edges, uh, so it straightens it out if you add another row. So to add another row it's exactly the same as a solid granny square. So we just use trebles. So we chain three, one, two, three, and then we work a treble into each of the stitches along here. So this is the treble for this initial double treble here. So we work a treble into the next stitch and again into the next stitch. We do trebles all the way along this edge until we get to the corner. So I've made my way to the corner and as with the solid granny square we do two more trebles in that corner. One, two, chain two for the corner and then two more trebles in that corner space. And then again we make our way back along this row. So a treble into the top of each of the stitches along this edge. So if you just want to pause the video here and continue, so you do a treble crochet in each of the edges and then when you get to the corner, 
two treble crochet, chain two for the corner and two more treble crochet and then one into each of the stitches along the edges. So like I say, pause the video here, make your way around and I'll meet you back at the end for joining. So I've made my way back around and all that's left to do is join. So in the top of this initial chain three, we insert our hook, yarn over, pull through both loops for a slip stitch. And then we chain one, snip our yarn and pull through and pull tight to secure. So that's the circle in a solid granny square. They make lovely blankets. Um, I will do a tutorial on how to join solid granny squares in the near future. Uh, but for now I hope you enjoyed this, this tutorial. If you did please do give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and if you click the bell button you will be notified when a new tutorial has been uploaded. Thanks again for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.